to English Tea Time. Hello, Dernick friends, and welcome to the second week of English Tea Time. Um, just to give you a quick little intro to the guy you just saw <laughs> that was actually welcoming you to English Tea Time, that is Caleb and I's friend um, in the US. He is really funny and so we asked him to make that video maybe one day you guys can meet him but his name is ross he's a dentist and we love him so that's who that guy is um today i want to talk to you guys about spring um so you know we have seasons all year round and right now we're currently in the middle of spring even though we can't go outside all the time and experience it I thought we could talk about some of the words that go with spring. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna get outside and go for a walk and we're gonna talk about some English words that have to do with spring. So, uh, here we go. word that I want to talk to you guys about is called blossom or another way that we could say that is bloom so you can see right here we have these little guys that are trying to pop out and in English we would say the flower is blossoming oh the city sounds right but it really is fun to just see how it can go from this little guy to becoming this beautiful um, flower that has already blossomed so this is a fun one to talk about, but something that we usually see come out in spring is a rainbow. Because after it rains, we will see something like that in the sky. So the word is rainbow. This is probably the most scenic picture of the entire video. You're welcome. Um, but another word that I wanted to tell you guys about is called puddle. So after it rains, we will see water form together on the streets like this. Usually kids love to jump in it in their rain boots, but right here we have this beautiful spring puddle. Hello, did you see those gray skies up there? Are they your favorite thing to look at? Well, in America, we look forward to spring when we have sunny days and warmer weather. I'm sure you do here as well. I'm being super cheesy for you right now. But unfortunately, the last couple of days it's been gray and cloudy and rainy. And with that, we have showers that come down. Rain showers. Excuse the car. A phrase that we use in English that we will use all throughout spring is this, April showers bring May flowers. And so as we have gray skies, we can look forward to the fact that they will bring beautiful, lovely flowers for us to look at all summer. hope you enjoyed our little excursion out and about. If you have not been able to go outside, maybe that video was a breath of fresh air for you. I know Caleb and I have super enjoyed getting out and just seeing any nature that we can during this crazy time. But the last thing I want to leave you guys with as far as spring, um, in all of the seasons, we have um, things that point us to um, different words that encourage us. And so in spring, we have the whole idea that what was once dead is now coming back to life. And so a lot of us, we've experienced winter and cold and we're ready for um, things to come back to life. And so the word that I wanna leave you guys with today, <clears throat> as far as spring, um, is the word hope. Um, in spring, we have the idea of hope and how um, things, like I said, that were once dead are now coming back to life. And so um, as we finish our 
English Tea Time today, um, I leave you with this question. Um, during spring, how are you finding hope in this season? What is something that is hopeful um, to you? And with that, I will say goodbye and I hope you guys have a really great week.